All right, small people, welcome back to Alex Sushki. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for me. Right now, so they talk to me. So, the way they see this 2023 presidential election, so hmm, make it not go up and say before the election time, one of all these presidential aspirants don't go to hurt the other presidential aspirant, don't bring one down based on the way Nollywood take the actor, we don't see person like say they active or not, you send your score, say may they go drop and so that may not get person like say you could compete with you on that day. Right about now as we did talk so I know it's a fair report about where Atiku Abu Bakar do bust like say like this so it could take only miracle for Peter Obi to win this 2023 presidential election. So for those who never listen to wait at Tiku Abubakar for the blast, Peter will be Mogada Washington together. Southeast were not successful this time. Your erstwhile running mate, Peter Obi, left the PDP and joined another party, He's also running for president. How do you think this will affect your prospects, given that the Southeast has always been such a safe zone for the PDP? Um, I, I, I really don't expect, uh, you know, the, the Labour Party to, uh, you know, to take as much votes from the PDP as people are suggesting. We could have seen it in the last elections in Austrian state. What is the performance of, of the Labour Party? This is a party that doesn't have a governor, doesn't have members of the National Assembly, doesn't have uh, state assembly members. And, 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 and politics in this country depends on the structures you have at these various levels, at the local government level, at the state level, and at the national level. So uh, it is very, very difficult to expect a miracle to happen, you know, simply because Peter Obi is uh, in, in, in the Labour Party. Well, two quick uh, follow-up questions. The first one is... After all, they, they were saying uh, through the social media they had more than one million votes in Washington State. But how many votes turned out to, you know, to, to, to vote for, for, for Labour Party? And then again, uh, Mark, you, <clears throat> you are talking about social media. In the North, 90% of our people are not trained to social media. Well, I was going to ask two quick uh, follow-up questions on this. So now that year from Atiku Abu Bakar, so more we'll listening to the rest point will be like say Peter B give back to Atiku Abu Bakar on this word of miracle because Peter Obi say all his life as a politician has been miraculous. Reference also to what former Vice President Atiku Abu Bakar also said about you. He said it will be a miracle for you to win the presidential election. How would you react to this? Well, so miracle is at the root of our faith. What strengthens our faith is miracle. For me, since I started this political journey, my achievements and records have all been miracles. They will all be miraculous. If you check, I ran for governor in a party that was less than one year old when I started in 2003. I won the election. They declared somebody else. I went to court. Everybody said it's impossible. There's no way. It's never happened before. After three years, the court declared me the winner. I was sworn in. Six months I was impeached alongside Fayoshe and Darie. I went to court. Again, I became the first governor to come back from impeachment. So I was the first governor to win through the court, first to come back from impeachment. And then in 2007, about one year in office, I then conducted the election, and I knew about one, I was sworn in as governor. I went to court again to seek the interpretation of our constitution that my term is four years. Everybody said it would never happen. Again, the Supreme Court declared me the winner, which is why you have staggered the election in various states today. So I became the first governor to seek interpretation of the constitution on tenure of the governor 
I became the first governor. In Anambra State, over a period of 40 years, from Jim Wobro days in old Anambra State, I was the first one to serve two tenor. I can go on and on and on and tell you so many things that have happened in this my journey that one can say is a miracle. And I'm looking forward to the next miracle next year to complete the miraculous journey of my political life. So, uh, again, uh, uh, Mr. Atuku Abubakar also said that your popularity is only on social media, that 90% of the northern voters are not on social media. Do you think that uh, his position uh, is, is a true picture of the state of Nigeria's politics, and how will this affect your chances? Well, uh, yeah. I agree with him with what he said. It's one of the problems we are going to solve after I have my miraculous emergence to deal with the issue of educating those, if it's true that 90% that are not on social media, what you need is to, I was saying that I was going to invest in education. We need to educate them. We need to ensure and he equip them because the population is mentioned is actually the teaming population we need. When I say the north, the vast land of the north is our next oil, this is the population that I need to be able to turn that asset into production. They are the assets I need for the factories. Processing factories are going to be located in Kaduna and Kanu to be able to produce those agricultural products, to process them for export. So, yes, we will deal with it, but I assure you that we're not just on social media. People are also listening to us and they know we have something to offer. And I'm sure that's what he wants to do as well. These are people we all need to educate and help. I don't watch so many of all this Nigeria presidential experience speech. That one could bring me to understand, see, how all these people they win this presidential experience seat. Now, because of, see, only two parties now they are standing, APC and PDP. Where APC not do where, the next thing where Nigeria will do now to divert to PDP. But really, on a normal sense, they don't really get anything to tell Nigeria the reason why in Nigeria they vote for them. The reason why in Nigeria they vote for other parties, they say they go say APC no do it. So we'll try PDP. That is why these two parties just they on top. But they don't see on that party will be like say no get level, boss out like this now. So they don't get any other thing to do now to they condemn the party to tell Nigeria the reason why like say, this party no go film win this 2020 presidential so that me and Nigeria no go to waste their time on this so-called small party so that they will support the giant of Africa party. So Nigeria is left for now to this. I'm going to forget to like video, comment, subscribe, and share it to all social media platforms. Hello, my name is Walo, my po.